right, thanks a lot. So I wanted to uh, just quickly show you a way that um, I think probably the easiest and quickest way to, to try out the OVN control plane. And you can do it um, with OVS Sandbox, which you may have seen uh, make an appearance earlier during the, uh, the game show portion where people had 60 seconds to do something that was using OVS Sandbox. So one of the things that I have worked on uh, here and there is this, is this OVN tutorial that uses the sandbox. It's in a, a tutorial directory in the OVS Git tree. And the easiest way to, to view it, I think, is just to pull, this, um, to pull this up on GitHub and view it. So what does this tutorial do for you? So first, um, it shows you how to use OVN, this thing called OVS Sandbox. And it is, is easy, is, is, it's easy to use as long as you, you clone the Git tree of OVS, then you run Make Sandbox. And it, uh, you see this message here that it uh, prints out here at the end. It says you're running in a dummy open vSwitch environment, and you can use the, your typical uh, OVS command line tools to, to integrate with it. And you know, just exit the shell when you're done, and it gets all thrown away. Um, to do this with OVN, so it includes OVN support, you just, uh, incl but it's not on by default, so you run this, uh, you pass this OVN flag to it. And what this does is it uh, creates the OVN databases, the uh, northbound and southbound databases. It also creates the hardware VTEP uh, database if you want to try out the um, VTEP gateway integration. It runs the OVN daemons and also makes available to you uh, the OVN utilities as well as the, the VTEP control utility. And once you have that, then you can uh, you know, start creating your logical switches and ports and so forth. And so what the tutorial does is it goes through and, and goes through a bunch of sample environments. And, and they're really, um, I, I've been tried, I tried to come up with like basically the simplest examples I could that demonstrate some, some feature of OVN. So the very first one is just a, it's a single logical switch with two ports on it. But then it could be two logical switches with two ports on each of them to show how, how two uh, networks are isolated from each other. Or what, it, what does it look like when you have two hypervisors? Or what does it look like when, how we model connecting to a, to a network that's locally attached to a, to a hypervisor? Um, and, of, and then, of course, uh, the stateful ACLs for uh, security policies. So let's quickly look at the, the very first example that the, um, the tutorial has, which is the simple two-port setup. Um, there's, a, there's a script. Um, there's, there's scripts that you use along with each environment uh, included in the tree. So this, this environment one setup script runs the, all these commands that you see on the, on the screen, creates a single logical switch, uh, two logical ports on that switch, sets MAC addresses for each of the ports, and then creates uh, ports on the lo local OVS bridge that are associated with that logical port. Um, once you have that, you can run the OVN tools to say, look at your logical topology. It shows here that you have one logical switch with two logical ports. You can run the southbound uh, utility to, to look at what the physical state of the system is, which shows that we have one chassis. Um, it, it use, you know, to talk to this chassis, you would use the Genev uh, encapsulation protocol. You know, just has low close as the IP in a typical environment and how it would have a, um, obviously a different address. And then it shows that two, two of the logical ports are bound on that host. You can look at logical flows. Um, this is uh, obviously starting to get a bit noisy, and so I'm not going to go through this in detail. But I think logical flows are one of the one of the things that I've become really excited about in the way OVN's built. I think it's really powerful. This is uh, kind of looks like OpenFlow, but it's purely in logical space. It has it uh, has no no information, no need for knowledge of, of what the uh, physical um, layout of the environment is. So that's something interesting to look through. And then of course you can then look at. Uh, you, you know, look, use OpenFlow and look at the actual OpenFlow flows, which I'm not going to include in the slide, but you can do that pretty quickly. Um, some other things that are included in the tutorial are like some sample packets. So it uses the um, OVS app control, what is it, OF proto trace command. So you, you know, generate these, it basically takes this uh, sort of a sample packet and gives you um, what I think of as an open flow backtrace, it shows you how the packet will be processed through the pipeline. So, you know, for the, this first simple environment, it shows you know, let's look at how a unicast packet will be processed, a broadcast packet. What happens when we add a third port and do another broadcast? How is that processed? Um, so, all these sorts of things are included in the tutorial for all these different environments. So, if you want to give OVN in a try, you, pro you may already have this uh, the OBS tree on your laptop. Um, pull up the sandbox and, and give it a shot. Thanks. Thanks, Russell.